All right guys, so welcome to another one of our first scan YouTube videos. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to recalibrate the speedometer because you changed the tire on your vehicle. Um, if you go to this video right here, go down to the description and open up the description and you'll see some spreadsheets in here. The spreadsheet you're gonna look for is you know, the F-150 2015-2019 spreadsheet. When you open that up, it's gonna take you to this, right? This is the most common links mods. This is from the Force Cam forum. Um, these are the most common changes I mean, okay? So if you go down here to where it says the BCM, the body control module, open that up and we're gonna be working on tire circumference 726-1201, all right? So there's two ways to change these tire circumference. One is based on the wheel itself and the other is based on the GPS tracking difference from where your speed is to what the speedometer actually says, right? So I'm gonna go over both, right? Okay, so clicking on this first link here, it'll take you to the spreadsheet that does a calculation, and I added this spreadsheet also to the description, the link to this. So from here, you can click, you can type in the width profile and rim diameter of your vehicle or the tire of the vehicle, the new tire, and it'll give you a code to enter right here. If you don't know what that is, let me just show you real quick. On the tire, it'll say what, you know, 295, 60, 20. So entering my my actual tire diameter, the actual width of it, the profile, and the actual rim diameter, this thing calculates a 0A3B. Here's a few codes to some common size tires. It's still right at minute, I mean, uh, one, one and a half, I'm gonna estimate about a one and a half mile per hour difference. So I think if I was going like 80, you would really see a C. It would show I'm actually going 78. See right there is two. And then it goes back up one and then down. So it's close to two. And that's cruise control set at 60. We're increasing it to 62. Still showing 61. Okay, but I put in a 0 a 3 b and you can see that mine was off by some. So this spreadsheet here gives you another calculator that does a little better job, and that's the speedometer versus um, GPS calculator. All right, so just scroll down, you can see it right here. All right, so here you type in the actual speed that you're going at. What the, this is the speedometer, tells you that it's going, and this is the GPS what a GPS device tells you your speed is, and you enter the original code that you already had, which is the same that I had on top, and it gives you a different code. Okay, this is like a, to recalibrate it. Okay, so we're gonna use our ELM 327, putting it in underneath the dash, and the OBD2 port all the way in. Mine's flipped down. I already connected it here. We're gonna open up for scan. Right, we're going to click on connect the bottom. Okay. It is correct. Let it pull up while it can. Vehicle may contain, does it contain the H, M? Yes, it does. Switch it to M, which is the top one. And hit OK. Alright, so we're ready. Right, we're gonna go up here uh, to configure. We're going into the BCM module and we're gonna click on play or run, run service. It wants you to switch it back to HS, right? So that's gonna be the bottom and we're gonna click okay. Read the warning. All right, 
Now, remember to always have these all backed up, right? So you can save all, save them, have, have your original settings there. Okay, so we're going to go into 726.12, too far. Seven twenty six twelve oh one. Correct. Okay, so it's zero nine F zero. Alright, so we're gonna go back down to force scan and there we're gonna enter zero nine F zero. Alright, let's double check to make sure it's correct. Zero nine F zero. Okay, so we go back to four scan and let's click on right. So everything turns off and back on, gives you a little warning signs here. You hear some chimes turn on. Everything program successful. It does tell you turn it off and then back on. All right, so we're going to go test it, but we got to disconnect here. So we're going to click on stop. We're going to go back to the car on the very top and go to disconnect. Bottom right, and you're gonna go ahead and exit out. Go ahead and exit out of all this. All right, let's go see. All right, guys, so here we go now getting on the freeway. We're just gonna see how this uh, all comes out following another F 150 here. If you can see, there's actually two of them. Pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Now, it won't, once you go higher mileage, maybe around 80, 90 miles an hour, it might change a little bit, but I think for the average speeds, it's pretty good. It's pretty close. So now I just set the cruise control. Sorry. And off by one. Right, go 85. You know this is Texas, whenever you see cars driving by faster than you and you're going 90 miles an hour. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos that I got here, right?